Sweet Green got a new salad. So guess where we going? <laughs> to Sweet Green. You can even sit in peace. Cause all of these niggas be on you. I'm just saying I can be. Yeah. One that you call and you talk to. Good morning, y'all. Oh, yep, it's 11 30, so it's good morning. Guess what we doing today? This is something different. This is something new, child. Look, it's Wednesday. So, you know, I would usually, well, I would have been at the gym. But, you know, it'll be time to go to the gym on a Wednesday. It's cardio day. Here's some cardio and some abs, but guess what? We're going to do a yoga class. Is my eye weird? I, I fucked my eye up this morning. Anyway, we're going to do a yoga class, y'all. I wanted to be on here and be like, yo, like I'm doing my first yoga class, but it's really not. Fun fact, so my grandmother that is no longer here on the earth was a yoga instructor up until like in her 70s, maybe even her 80s, like early 80s maybe. And that would have been my first uh, yoga class with her. She was a yoga instructor like in Chicago. Now I remember one summer in particular, like I was, I spent quite a bit of time there, like damn the whole summer. I always was in Chicago for the summer, but this one summer, I remember like my dad would usually be there and he wasn't there, it was just me and her. We did so much stuff, I went to the bookstore, I got my nails done for the first time. Anyway. Um, she taught because I was there with kid I can't be left so when she had to go do her yoga classes I would have to go with her and um, I tried to do it you know like my young self no I don't know what I was doing girl no tell no, no telling wasn't doing it right but you know a child's gonna meet me um, so that would have technically been my first yoga class and then I briefly remember doing a yoga class like maybe eight years ago at LA Fitness and I hated it I don't know why Anyway, today I'm going to do a yoga class, and I haven't done yoga, yeah, in my 30s. Oh, bitch, I just turned 30. I haven't done yoga, I don't know, the literally, y'all, when I took that yoga class, I might have been 20, 21, 22, so it's still been quite some time, um, and I just, I don't know if I verbally, I did verbally mention this, yes, I did, that this year I wanted to just get out and do stuff, so I'm going to try boxing i'm excited about that because i think i'm really gonna like that i know i'm gonna try pilates i've been wanting to try pilates i just let me tell y'all something about me fun fact about me i am not a trend jumper if everybody likes something or gravitate something i'm gonna gravitate away fun fact so for instance i can like vividly remember this y'all know like b2k everybody little fizz oh my god Baby, no Rasby. Everybody want to bow wow? Well, give me a little Romeo. Like, I'm going to go against the grain, okay? So, everybody jumped on Pilates because of fucking Lori Harvey. I give a fuck about that. I am not a trend, especially not no celebrity bullshit. Let, now I'm going to get passionate because I remember the damn interview when they asked the girl, what are the secrets of your abs? Pilates. The fuck it is. It's not. That's a lie. That is a fucking lie. And I hate it just because everybody really started trying to do Pilates thinking they was going to get abs. No, that's not how that works. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's a whole other thing. I did want to try Pilates. Um, I'm going to try it. Just didn't want to try why everybody was literally trying to try it. Uh, but I wanted to do this yoga first because y'all know, like, I'm a strength training, weightlifting girl, outside of weights. I do very little ac athletically or actively. Um, I do cardio, but my cardio is like jumping on the bike and maybe walking on the treadmill or just walking. Um, I even want to try a spin class because I really like the bike and I know spin is different but I'm trying to see why and the real reason that I'm kind of scared to try a spin class is because them doggone bikes got that the booty seat the seat y'all don't talk about y'all know where this is going 
that skinny ass seat in your ass, it hurts. But I think it's supposed to be uncomfortable and hurt so that you won't sit down and you will like stand up and spin. I don't know. Somebody needs to ask Kyra how she do her damn spin classes with all that ass because baby, I hate those type of bikes. I don't think you're supposed to be sitting though. I don't think it's meant to be uncomfortable, but anyway. Yeah, I just want to try like different active classes and do different things on do boxing, Pilates, lots of stuff. So we're doing yoga. Um, yoga needs to be something that I really need to get into because of the stretch aspect. Like you guys know, we went to Stretch Lab. Yoga is very, I feel like more a stretching thing and it's like low impact and I should be doing shit like that anyway than anything else. So that's what we're starting off doing. It's February. Um, did I do anything new in January? I can't remember. I think I did. I'm just trying to do new stuff. I did go out to that damn coffee shop and ate that food. I'm just trying to do different stuff. Do what I said I was going to do. So that's what we're doing. We're going to a yoga class. Um, since this is, I've never done nothing like this. I, I want to, of course, get a little bit of footage. A little bit. Um, I'm going to try, but of course, y'all know, like, I don't want to make nobody uncomfortable or be weird. So we'll see. I'm actually also trying to shoot. A TikTok slash reel of this so we'll see but I, for me to do it I have to get some footage on my phone I'm really gonna try I don't know I'm out here being a content creator on a whim so that's what we're doing after that um, I have a haircut later tonight um, I need to go home and do some work of course I need to get into like my office space we got talk I'm not gonna even get into that conversation so yeah, let's go hit this uh, yoga class and I'll see y'all after. Y'all, I absolutely could not get any footage of me or yoga. I barely got anything from my TikTok like last minute, we about to go. Quick little pose. Mm -mm, it wasn't good. But there was a kill me crazy. Right next to the um well not next to it but in the same plaza this plaza if y'all live in Atlanta that Tuckle Hills Plaza crazy it's so much stuff over here my eyes still red from this morning y'all I did something to my eye like I stuck I don't know what I did to it but it is do y'all see this eye I'm all messed up I'm actually about to go to um urgent care because it's been over a week since they said I had strep and I told y'all I was like I do not have strep I get strep too often I know what strep is like this is not strep and it, I've been on antibiotics for over a week I took steroids and I'm just no my voice sound like it's coming back it's taking too long and my throat like my throat is fine during the day but at night when I go to sleep I cough it's dry. It's, it hurt to swallow. Mm -mm. These chips are. I'll be back. Okay. Sorry. These sweet potato chips. Let me show y'all the bag. Kill me crazy. Chef's kiss. But I'm about to go so I can go to urgent care. When I tell y'all this is not how to do. This is not how the damn vlog supposed to go. Y'all know it wasn't because I was telling y'all the stuff I had to do. Y'all went to urgent care. I got bronchitis, acute bronchitis. They gave me some more antibiotics. So I started another round of antibiotics because the antibiotics they gave me initially was for strep. And I tested, they gave me a strep test. I, I tested negative for strep. And she said, well, you probably did have strep, but you had something else. She was like, they should have gave you something for the cough. And they did it. So now you've been having all this post-nasal drip. Because I told y'all, did I tell you about the nasty stuff in my throat? It doesn't matter. It's really gross. I had a picture. I showed the doctor. And she was like, yeah, mm -mm, we need to treat this because it could... <coughs> Something could be like down there festering. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, I gotta start more antibiotics. She gave me some promethazine for cough. Uh, my hair hurts so bad. I feel like shit. I don't know why. This morning I felt fine. I've been feeling fine. I just had to cough and stuff. But like, no, today I feel really bad. So anyway, I went and picked up my prescription and everything. And I was like, okay, cool, whatever. I'm about to just get in the bed. But I got a haircut at six. So I can't just I have to go get my hair cut I have to so <sighs> why 
this vlog was not supposed to be like this i hate when my vlogs don't go like i need them to go so i'm just about to lay here for an hour because i gotta leave it's 4 20 i'm gonna have to leave here around five because traffic great love that for me to fucking get to this haircut at six o'clock and again this just was not supposed to go like this and i'm sad but i gotta get better because like i told my mama i was like i've been sick since december December, remember I was sick for that week. I was like, well, y'all probably don't, but I was sick, throwing up, shitting on myself, sick. And then January came and I had my freaking cycle. And then I got sick on the 21st. And I've been like, I cannot lay in the bed and not do shit. Like, that's why my schedule's been thrown off. I ain't been, let me not lie, I ain't been here right. But like, I ain't been going to the gym consistently. The whole month of January, it was very inconsistent because one week I was on my cycle. I don't do that on my cycle. Then I got sick. Now they had an energy. Now look at me. Look at me. I probably won't go to the gym tomorrow. I don't. Uh, Y'all, anyway, let me try to rest before I got to go get this damn haircut. Y'all, today was insane. It was not supposed to be like this. It was not supposed to be like this. I got a haircut. Um, my hair looks crazy when I get my hair cut. So fun fact, I'm natural, so y'all be asking me. Now, I did do play with the texturizer thing in the beginning, but then um, I learned how to not have to need the texturizer for my hair to lay. So I am natural. When I get my hair cut, uh, it looks like this. So this is, you know, what my hair looks like. Now tomorrow, when I bleach my hair, it'll lay flat. It won't, like, the bleach is just gonna process it. I'm bald as hell. I kind of like it. I kind of like my little cut like this. I'm not going to pose you. I kind of do. A little bit. But anyway, um, I was supposed to go into my office and do stuff. I told y'all, like, I need to basically, like, make space. Start putting the highest stuff, the inventory out. Count the inventory. That's what I need to do. Let me write it. Hopefully, tomorrow will be better. What happened was, I forgot, um that I had a, a haircut, but then I also was not planning on going to urgent care. And because when I got home, I was like, okay, I'm about to just be in the bed. Then I remember I had to go get a haircut, but it doesn't matter. By the time I got home, it was like 7.30ish, it's 8.27 now. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I didn't know that was gonna happen, but like I said, hopefully tomorrow, oh yeah, I had to take my new round of antibiotics and stuff. I just, hopefully tomorrow will be better. Um what's going on tomorrow i have a facial at two i don't think i'm gonna go to the gym <sighs> this is why i probably should i have nothing to do in the morning i don't i know oh that's a fucking lie i have to bleach my hair i don't have to bleach it tomorrow but i have a call anyway i, I wanted to bleach my hair in the morning which is why i said i wasn't gonna go to the gym but i don't have to bleach my hair i gotta bleach my hair sometime tomorrow it doesn't have to be in the morning I guess I can go get a facial like this and it'll be fine. I don't want to, but I guess, I don't know, we'll see. Because I want to go to the gym because I love the gym, right? But at the same time, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, you go to the gym. Yes, let's discuss this. You go to the gym not to lose weight. Let me put that out there. The gym is not where you lose weight. I don't care if you're running, weightlifting. You don't, you don't lose weight in the gym. Your diet is what that is. You know, it is. And I've been eating whatever I want. Lots of it. I had hella tacos last night. I had a margarita. Like, I've been living life. What did I have today? Now, I did just have a bagel for breakfast, as y'all seen. And I had some noodles because I just wanted something hot on my throat. So, I haven't really ate crazy today. But then I'm going to Tennessee this weekend. It's my grandma's birthday. Y'all, I just don't see, like, if I have other stuff to do. Not saying you shouldn't still go to the gym. I'm not saying that. But if you got other stuff to do, like I got a list of stuff to do. It's no, I mean, you don't have to. I mean, if I miss the gym, it's not going to. Like, fuck it. You over here eating like an ass anyway. You see what I'm saying? So I want to go to the gym just for pleasure. Sheer pleasure. But I got shit to do. I need to organize this inventory. I need to take some product photos. Like just on this white drop. Because I need to get ready to drop next week like that. Um, I need to bleach my hair. I need to pack my outfits for Tennessee because I'm leaving Friday. I have a facial at 2. I have a, a call with my brand manager at EHP Labs at 6. So, I had things to do. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, not saying I couldn't do the gym and all of that. But I don't know. We'll have to see how tomorrow goes. How I'm feeling in the morning. I just know I got to bleach my hair. If it's not 
in the morning is going to have to be at night. And I probably don't want to do it at night. I might do it at night to go to the gym. Anyway, that's what's going on. Um, I was going to go in that room, but I'm not because, like I said, it's 8.30 now. I'm just going to take Yay out, eat, and get in the bed, call today. I have... <coughs> The doctor gave me another round of antibiotics. So I gotta take this. Plus finish the last one, y'all. Pump me up with medicine. Pump me up. Pump me up. And I got some promethazine for this cough. Now, I ain't gonna hold y'all. This is what I'm most excited about. Not because it's promethazine. But because I'm fucking tired of coughing. And y'all, at night, I don't know what it is. At night, my throat gets really dry. My It hurts. Um, I cough like it, it actually interrupts my sleep for the past week I have woken up like numerous times throughout the night because of my throat and the cough So I bet you I don't get up tonight. That's what I'm more excited about But um, yeah, this day just did not do what it was supposed to do I'm a little upset about it, but when I got home, I was gonna go into that room But then I had to do some things for EHP labs <laughs> I'm, I can't really tell y'all what I'm doing some of y'all know them Instagram subscribers, y'all know. But um, yeah, it's really fun and exciting. I'm so excited for the call tomorrow. Um, I might vlog a little bit of it though, you know, so y'all can see a little bit. But you know, and I can't really just come out and tell you. I probably could tell you. I'm a believer of until it's time and we ready to go. You know, I'm not. But I might film a little bit of that call tomorrow. But um, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> it's actually good morning. It's 10.33. So remember last night we discussed if I was going to go to the gym or not. Apparently I'm not. I've been up since 8 o'clock and it's 10.33. So I haven't done anything. That was the time to go to the gym. And I wasted it. Of course I did. So I'm about to um, dye my hair. I was just doing the bleach in developer thing. Um, in case y'all want to know what I use, I'll link it. But it's the blind me. What's my pillow back? <laughs> Why did I do that? Blind me. Squirt some pop. <laughs> Squirt some pop. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm such an idiot. Anyway, yeah, the blind me line. This is crazy to me. I bought this when I first cut my hair in June. And this is where we're at. I almost used it off. Got to re-up. I'm saying it's crazy to me because I'm not used to using, like, all my hair products. I don't know. Like, having empties. I don't have empties. I think I put way too much developer in here, but I weighed it out. Anyway, we're going to have to make it work. Let's go on to the bathroom. All right, y'all. I'm not going to sit here the whole time. Y'all have seen me um, dye my hair before. Unfortunately, I've been looking crazy. Oh, my God. I need to take these glasses off, idiot. Ugh. I had um, a facial at two, um, and that's the only thing I gotta do. There's like a time thing. <clears throat> I need to. I just want to be better. I want to be well so bad. Y'all hear me still struggling. Um, I need to pack today. Get my outfits together because put that shit on. <laughs> For real. Oh, I need to see. I need to take some. I haven't even, I feel like I haven't been a good content creator, even with YouTube, but like, I haven't, what have I been doing? I'm like, what have I been doing with my time? Because when I think about it, what have I been doing? I ain't took no outfit pictures. I ain't did really no gym content. What have I been doing? I just want my life to go back to the routine and get shit done. Um, I need to drop off packages. I need to organize that inventory. I need to pack. I need to get better. I just want to be well. I'm tired of I had a headache. I'm tired of having a headache, throat hurt, voice gone. It's always something. I just want life to be. I want to just be fucking well. When they say, yeah, if you don't got health, you ain't got nothing. And I know I'm not the sickest. I'm not really sick. But I just want, because I told y'all, like, since December, it's always been something. Can I just everything be perfectly fine, neutral, good, Gucci? Not a headache, nothing hurting, not tired. Anyway, let me put my contacts on and get into this hair. I look like a damn grandma.
Okay, y'all. I decided let me try to do something while I'm sitting with this bleach in my hair. Uh, about 30 more minutes. It'll be like over an hour. Um. So, y'all, this is a mess. All these boxes up here should be empty. Even some down here. I need to just go ahead and collapse them. Because they're empty because they're all the bad fit shit is basically gone. There are a few pieces. What, like, what's this? Girl, hold on. So that's what I mean by organized. So I'm gonna collapse all of these to make sure that they're empty. And then I'm not I need to start getting the um the highest stuff out. Oh, I just realized that y'all have not seen the stuff. Cause I showed it to the, um, the Instagram subscribers. I showed them on live when I first got it. Y'all haven't seen it, so this will be a great time to show y'all. Well, I don't mean like right now because I don't, I got 30 minutes before I wash my hair out, but today definitely y'all can see um, what the new stuff look like. All right, what is in here? Because girl, these are extra. Oh. I'm not supposed to have, I, I don't have my phone. See, I be, I don't, y'all, fun fact. It's not a fun fact. It's a horrible fact. This was the worst. This last month or so with Batch Fit was the worst. My inventory was jacked up. I don't know why. I ain't trying to blame nobody. <clears throat> Mama Lorraine. Honestly, I don't know. Shit was fucked up though. So for instance, I got orders here. With all these 3X leggings, there are no leggings left. There are extra larges. So that's telling me that when I was um, updating the inventory, I was putting it in wrong some kind of way. And I did, like, y'all, basically, stuff, it was stuff that was selling that I didn't have. And I was sending people wrong orders. Girl, all I know is I royally screwed over, like... My inventory. I, I I was making mistake after mistake after mistake. I'm sorry if you one of the ones affected. I really am. I don't know what the hell like happened this last month. Like I made mistakes before with orders, of course, but Jesus Christ! Like all of this, I really hope my butt ain't out. I'm gonna have to crop it. I, this was a mess. Like never. Like it was just ridiculous so now i have extra large leggings when i'm not supposed to have any leggings because those are supposed to be gone um so now i'm finna see if somebody want them real quick because it's three pair i think and then i got these damn people over here that ordered three x's it ain't no damn three x's because i done put the wrong thing in apparently <sighs> anyway okay y'all look at my hair look at my hair ain't that crazy I didn't do nothing but bleach it. I bleached it. And this is what happened when I bleach it. It do is just a little bit of her. She lay on down down. I might bleach her again though. Because I don't know if y'all can see my roots are yellow. I did put my purple shampoo on. I might just need to put my purple shampoo on again. I might just try to purple shampoo it again the night before I try to bleach it. Because y'all not be doing the most. But listen though. Listen. <laughs> I checked my email this morning. Sweet Green got a new salad. So guess where we going? <laughs> to Sweet Green. Baby, they got a new salad. It's the crispy chicken salad. It ain't, the chicken ain't crispy. It's their blackened chicken with some crispy rice things or whatever. Baby, it got pickles in it. They tried to basically make a chicken sandwich but make it a salad. I did customize this one because it had tomatoes. I didn't want tomatoes. I added the freaking barbecue squash and onions in it. And what else did I add? Uh, extra chicken too. But anyway, we're going to Sweet Green. Before we go, though, y'all know Sweet Green ain't got no good drinks like that. Yesterday, I bought this charcoal lemonade from Kale Me Crazy, and I didn't never try it. Like, I never tried it. So, let me make sure this is good, or I need to run in the house and get my water, because I'm not about to play. Because after that, we're going to go to our facial. It tastes like lemon water. It says it's HTO lavender uh, activated charcoal lemon and agave. 
I'm sorry. I used to really like Kill Me Crazy drink. But when I had the same one, I always get the Paradise one yesterday. It was not hidden. It wasn't. I'm going to have to leave him. Mm-mm. Because these juices be costing too much not to hit. Now, I am going to drink this one. But I probably will never get it again. But we better go get our sweet green salad. I'm so excited. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. Oh, my gosh, y'all. My sweet green. Look at these pickles. This is the crispy rice I was telling you about. Chicken. This is the um the squash, the barbecue squash I added. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can y'all tell I'm like really, really happy? <laughs> this is the green goddess ranch. I never had it before. Mmm. That's good. I'm just pouring it all over. That's good. Y'all. Sweet Green say we got a new salad. I'm like, what it is? What's up? Could just, like, y'all, when I tell y'all, I got that email today, this morning, and knew I was about to go get some. The uh, base is spinach and lettuce. Yo. Get some pickles, girl. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all hear the crunch? Yeah, we try for This is good. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Why is sweet green like this? Now, again, if y'all go get it, it come with tomatoes. I ain't want that. The only thing I added, besides extra chicken, was the barbecue squash and caramelized onions. Because that one was on the barbecue plate. Um, So, my bowl might be better than yours if you don't add it. But, pretty good. And this is actually a salad with spinach and lettuce. It doesn't have rice in it. But you can add rice, just in case y'all want to get it. You can customize it, but it is the crispy chicken salad bowl. Mmm. Look at me. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it got me some extra dressing. Because this is actually a salad, and that little green dressing ain't even... Yeah, I would get extra dressing. I'm about to try to hurry up and eat this. Because I got 10 minutes to my appointment. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And by the way, I'm at my side. I had to drive all the way here. Because I was like, I'm not going to start eating this salad. I didn't have to rush to get over there. Let me get over there first. So, I'm right outside. Oh, look at that big old squash. Look at the squash. I love you, sweet green. This is what I be talking about. Now, that Wendy's was good. But this is just as good. Like, there's really no reason for me not to eat stuff like this because I thoroughly enjoy it. The Wendy's was busting. But, I mean, this is good as fuck, too. Yeah, I'm proud of it. My skin. Yeah. Oh, my God. It does look so good. Uh, it looks no. so different from last time. And, oh, do we take pictures from those? Oh, you have the, well, you have the vlog, right? Mm -hmm. That you took? Yeah, I'm like, I definitely want to, I want to see it. Can you see the, like, with a little light patch? I was about to get, I'm going to bring it a little closer. I'm just going to do a cleanse first so I can really make sure his skin's nice and clean. And I'll put the mag lamp under it and look at it. From what I'm looking at, though, it just looks like pigmentation, like an overproduction of melanin in that area. Have Do you, do you have I asked you if you have an SPF? Um, yeah. Or do you wear it's it? only 30, though, is it? Well, do you wear it every day? I do now. Okay, well then you're fine. Uh, yeah, I don't really, I mean, unless you're out outside all day in, you know, the sun, then maybe you might need a little bit more than 30 or you're going to need to reapply. But um, 30 should be fine. I mean, most people don't even, some people like use like 15. So, no, 30 is a pretty good number as long as you're um, wearing it. 
and you're you know not outside in the sun for the whole 12 hour day then no, there no I'm not outside at all <laughs> well it's not like it matters it's not been sunny except for like two days in the past month am I aren't I still supposed to wear it though yeah no definitely so but obviously like yeah you can definitely still get um pigmentation like the sun whenever it's even whenever it's rainy mm -hmm. um but obviously there's a big difference in the uv rays whenever it's cloudy versus you know sunny outside but yeah definitely so definitely so wear it regardless and um i got do you know what the the, the skin club is skin club they have these towels on amazon no, I don't think I know. You'll have to show It's me. like a paper towel, basically, for your show face. Me. So I don't use a, a rag. Remember Good. we talked no, about yeah. that? No, yeah. I told you not to use a rag. Because yep. a rag's just really abrasive to the skin. So it's like a little towel, and you throw it away every time you use it. And I got the, um, you know. What'd you get? little brush. Remind thing. me. You don't want me to put this over your eyelashes, right? No, you can. Are you sure? Mm hmm Okay. I always like to ask, because I'm being a lashes girl, I know. You really been investing in that skin, mm -hmm. huh? And you really, look at it. Yeah, and look at it. It's showing. People, whenever you invest, it'll it'll show. You just you have to invest first. And then you'll see the results. I'll have to go get a spoolie out of Larissa's room because I don't think there's any in this room. Just gonna brush your lashes out at the end. What even is today? Today Thursday? Are you doing anything fun this weekend? Oh, I'm going to Tennessee. My mom's family lives there. My grandma's turning 80. She's having a party Saturday. Fine. That sounds like a good time. Yeah. What part of Tennessee? Chattanooga. Chattanooga. I've been to Chattanooga a few times. It's a good time. And Have you been to the Rock um, City? Yes. Yeah, I went there <laughs> last year. It was so much fun. Me and my best friend just took a little girls weekend and went. My dog is turning one on Sunday. Oh! exciting too you had a fun weekend <laughs> obviously she's gonna come with you to tennessee oh it's a boy but yes oh yes. i don't know i thought you just said girl no yeah, so he's gonna come with you mm -hmm. on um this weekend yep uh, that's only like what like a two hour drive yep two not, hours not too far at all okay i'm gonna put this little thing over your eyes just so we can do a skin analysis i don't want to blind you we definitely should be taking pictures along the way as we should i should i definitely would take it before and after with a diamond glow if that's Yes, okay, what is it going to do? The diamond glow? Mm-hmm. We'll talk about that in a second. I'm just going to figure out what serum we're going to do first. Okay. So let's take a look at the skin. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Your hydration definitely is a big difference. I think that's the biggest thing I'm noticing, too, just in the overall texture of your skin. A lot more hydrated. You have a little bit of congestion in your nose. We can do a few extractions, but it's very mild. You're talking about this area right here? Yeah, it's like a splotch or something. Yeah, it, it looks like hyperpigmentation to me, just like an overproduction of melanin in this specific area, um, which a lot of people get hyperpigmentation in specifically this zone of their face. Mm -hmm. um, either that or the cheeks. Usually it's not so common in like the forehead, um, but usually in this area people get a lot more hyperpigmentation because um, it's not really so much like over here. I can see it's just more like really in this area on the sides of your face. And it's a patch somewhere over here too like it's just a dark yeah okay yeah definitely i think we want to focus on now that we've kind of gotten your hydration more on track i think we want to focus more on evening out your skin tone and the pigmentation and evening out just overall and helping to lighten it back up okay so we really want to focus on lightening products like glycolic you know vi um, vitamin c um niacinamide would also be a great one um Anything that's going to be brightening, um, even a retinol would be a good one for helping with the pigmentation, which you have the vitamin C serum, which is great. Um, I shouldn't mix them, should I? You can, definitely. So I would use the vitamin C in the morning. And one thing I was going to recommend is we have a Power Bright Dark Spot Serum at nighttime that is meant to treat pigmentation. So I would say do the Biolumin C in the morning and then do the pig or the Power Bright at nighttime. Our Power Bright line for Dermalogica is specific to treating and evening out pig pigmentation in the skin. Um, and lightening up says lightening agents in it. Um, so you can definitely, I use, I, I, you know, I alternate between like my retinol some nights. I also use niacinamide. Hyaluronic acid, I really alternate. There's no reason for that because you're, you know, some people need to address multiple different concerns in their skin and not, you have to use multiple different things to do that. Not all one thing is going to address all of those concerns. Um, 
but do you feel like for you it just feels like we really want to treat and work on the pigmentation for right now now that we got your hydration more in a good place or you really want to just focus on the pigmentation Pig yeah yeah because i'm not really seeing any ever like everything else looks really really good so with that being said um let's do the skin brightening um because we have our choices are which you don't need to put poor clarifying we have vitamin c which you're already doing vitamin c at home um and we're wanting to focus on skin brightening which it does have some skin brightening properties but we have a specific skin brightening um serum which has a lot more um of brightening agents in it so let's definitely do that i'm gonna go ahead and take this off so are you asking were you asking how it works or what it does yeah what is it like the thing we did last time we did the regular microderm last time okay so diamond glow is going to be the exfoliation benefit but you're going to get a custom infused serum benefit too so the last one was dry um, and that one is good for like resurfacing, retexturing. It's the diamond tip, which all this one's good for too, because you're getting the diamond tip exfoliation. So resurfacing, retexturing, um, any scarring. It also is good for evening up pigmentation, but you're also getting this custom infused serum benefit too. Okay. So it's going to be a wet microderm versus a dry microderm, which you'll you'll notice the difference immediately because it's just going to be wet <laughs> versus dry, of course. All right, let me go ahead and get this machine hooked up for you. If you want to show the camera too in a minute, you can show them what the machine looks like. Just get the grids all ready. I don't think I ever noticed this before. I mean, I noticed uneven pigmentation last time, but we were learning to focus on hydration first. Um, which obviously hydration is also a great way. You want to still hydrate to even back out the skin tone. We gotta make sure the skin's hydrated. Um, but yours is very mild. I promise you there's like for pigmentation. There's a lot worse like yours is not severe at all um, Some people literally have like specific dark spots throughout the whole entire face from the pigmentation. So yours is very um, Surface like I think it definitely can be treated and you're everyone's their own worst critic too Like to me from a distance. I could never tell like from looking at you across the room I could not tell that you know I couldn't see that little spot that you see because I'm also not up close to your face like that Okay Turn this on. If you want to take a little, if you want to like turn the camera up, you can look at it. It's like illuminated. It's blue. <laughs> it's fancy. <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Put this up over your face. Okay, we're gonna start with the forehead. It is wet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it gets way worse. This is barely even, it's going to be, well, not worse, it's good. It's really, really good because your skin's absorbing all of this throughout the process. But it is very wet, <laughs> yes. I love it though. This is basically like a hydrofacial, just different, just a different machine specifically, if that makes sense. It can be a little rough. Yeah. yeah. You said it. Yeah. The tip can definitely be a little abrasive, but the wetter it gets, you're not going to really feel that so much. Are you watching through the camera? No, I have my eyes closed. Oh, okay, I couldn't tell. I was like, are you watching through the thing? You have it on there, right, though? It's nothing to see. What do you mean? I'm looking now. Oh, yeah, no, you can't really, you can't really, I mean, you can see the machine, you can't really see the liquid on your face. Once again, y'all, doing the most. I feel like it's either there's not enough hours in the day or I'll be wasting the hours in the day. I know I'll be wasting the hours in the day. 
I was up at 8 and then get out the bed moving to 10.30. But I got my nails done because um, a nail was lifting. I normally get gel X, y'all. I haven't got acrylic nails since I was 29. I'm 30. <laughs> anyway, I had to get acrylic today. Um, my pockets was happy because I got my feet and my nails done for less than what it would have been for just my nails. Oh, girl. Yeah, feet and nails and pedicure for less than just my nails. I might have to go back to acrylic because, baby, especially because my nails be really short anyway. Like, the biggest thing with Gelex is they, they don't break. Like, I haven't had a broken nail in I don't know how long because I was tired of breaking my nails and they last so long. But since my nails are really short, like, how are these going to break? I just got a French tip. Got my toes done, French tip. That was, um, like I said, when I showed y'all the little clip, it was impromptu. I needed to get my nails done. I needed to get my feet done, but I didn't know how I was going to fit it in. But after I got my facial, um, like, no, because I'm I'm not in the light. It's too, oh, my gosh. This is my face. This is my face. Anyway, um, it was literally right there. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and do that. But then I had to wait first. Yeah, all over the place. My dog on brand call is in 30 minutes. I was not supposed to be going all day because I told y'all I wanted to get that inventory out. And I also said I want the pack for Tennessee. Guess I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. I don't know. I probably will try to get the inventory out after the brand call. But both of them are not going to get done because I have a headache behind my eye that will not go away. I told y'all my voice is trying to come back. I think this is the first day that I haven't had a sore throat. In three weeks. My throat feels normal. In three weeks. And now it's just headache that I've had since yesterday behind my eye. Anyway, um, I got the Maddie. Y'all remember who did my facial last time. Did it again. And I, she told me to get the Power Bright Overnight Cream from Dermalogica for my... Um, see here. Uh, let me go ahead and open it. It's for my... I have hyperpigmentation that I don't think I knew I had. Because it's crazy that everybody's always telling me I had pretty skin. Oh, your skin is so beautiful. Oh, your skin is so clear. Like, even y'all. But if we being honest, my skin has never, ever in its life looked like it looks now. I think I have beautiful skin now. I mean, I never thought I had bad skin. But y'all would rave about my skin. I'd be like, okay. But now, girl, yes. I look crazy. I think it's because my hair is short now and it's super blonde. Like, my hair is super short and super blonde. So, I look different than how I've been looking. Anyway, I don't care for it just to be this short, to be honest with y'all. But it was so damn that she was like, baby, I'm cutting it. So, anyway, this is what the cream looks like. She said, I don't need to use it every night. It says, fade dark spots while you sleep. Nourishing nighttime cream optimizes skin moisture recovery and helps restore luminosity. So, yeah, my phone is like upcoming calendar event. I know. I don't want to tell y'all how much this cost. It costs a lot. Look, this is what I did. Is, look, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Y'all know I've been acting up and complaining about it and still acting up. Don't save her. She does not want to be saved. Why I seen this on the home and had to stop. Buttermilk Sky Pie Shop. Baby... I got a pie. I got three pies. This is a buttermilk pie. I got a pie. They're four inch pies. They're, they're so cute though when they come in this little box. I got buttermilk, key lime, and peanut butter. Why did you get three pies? I really said this was the weekend. It was going to be. Because you know I'm going to Tennessee. It's my grandma's birthday. Y'all like, girl, you throw every excuse at us. Girl, just don't save her. She don't want to be saved. She don't want to be saved right now. Oh, I didn't know it wasn't in the... um container at all oh my gosh y'all look at this little pie this is the peanut butter one. oh my gosh it is so tiny and cute this isn't the cutest thing i take a picture i'm gonna go get ready for my damn brand call i gotta go to the bathroom you know you sort of feel like it's a good location for you to so do you, do you have a preference either way on that front I'm all for going to Houston. <laughs> um, it's actually a place that I really like. So, either way. Let's do it. Houston it is. Okay. okay. <laughs> Locked and loaded. And um, just the other thing is we just wanted to um, send a with you about some availability. So, um, what I was thinking might be quite good because I think our team will just need a little bit of time to sort of work on the programming side because obviously we've got to understand I meant to tell you this last week, but even if like today you jumped on your story and were like, hey guys, like if I made training programs, would you guys be interested to start sowing that seed with your audience so that in two weeks when you're like, oh, 
check this website out, something becoming soon, you've kind of already pre it as well. I thought that'd be kind of cool if you wanted to do that. Y'all, life is crazy, life is crazy. I still haven't showed y'all this stuff. It's seven o'clock. <sighs> Just got off the brand call. Y'all heard whatever I decided to edit. But I'll tell you one thing, your girl going to Houston. <laughs> i tell y'all that. Something's coming, something's coming. And it'll be here in a couple of months like two months or so that's all i'm gonna say they was like you can tell them no i'm a, I'm, a, I'm a player i'm gonna keep it real player keep p pushing p and i'm gonna tell y'all a little bit along the way i'm going to houston when i go to houston y'all know way more i feel like i look like garbage anyway let me feed this damn dog so that i can i don't know about organizing nothing i ain't gonna lie to y'all i am burned out it's seven o'clock and i just i don't know what i'm gonna do but i am gonna at least show y'all the new stuff so don't say I ain't never did nothing for you. Y'all, I am so drained. Oh my God, my camera's only 11%. My camera's only 11%. Anyway, I did a flat lay and took a picture of this. I don't like the way it looks. So as far as the picture goes, but let me show y'all. So you might have seen this on Instagram already. Um, this is highest. So pretty, right? Um, I still don't know if this is, it looks chocolate, but in person, it's still chocolatey, but it's a little ashy. Like, it's not a deep chocolate at all. It's very ashy, like, don't know what I'm going to call this stuff. Y'all, so much been going on that I ain't even really been able to focus on this, which is crazy because this is my shit. This is my shit. Like, I can't. So, we have this. Of course, we have it in the black. In the black. Damn me, I don't have a black bra to show y'all. I forgot. <laughs> I never did open up the black bras um, in my size anyway. So we have it in black, of course. And then we have it in this beautiful gray color. Um, I thought the colors were neutral. Um, great to start off with this palette, I felt like. I love the way that this looks, even though I kind of wanted to just introduce them one color at a time. I'm thinking about trying to take pictures on this white. It's not working out. But I'm going to keep trying. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to wrap our vlog up now because I'm already exhausted. I'm finna to wash my hair with purple shampoo again and pray for the best. I will see y'all tomorrow because it's Friday and we'll be doing a weekend vlog. I have no idea when this vlog is going to go up. I want it to go up tomorrow, which is Friday. Am I going to be able to get it to go up tomorrow? I will try. I really will try. I think I can pull it off. I don't know. If not... Can I do a Sunday? I, I think I can get it done Sunday. So if y'all don't see the vlog Friday, y'all will see it Sunday. Then you have a weekend vlog, maybe Tuesday. Oh, that's Valentine's Day. Baby, I don't know. Shit is, she, it's a lot going on. And when I get back home, I didn't get my shit now, which is crazy because I was already like, oh, it's up. I'm going to Chick-fil-A tomorrow. I want Starbucks. I can't believe this. I acted up all this time knowing, and now I'm fluffy. I mean, I've always been fluffy, but fluffier. No type of this. I gotta get it together in like a week. My blood pressure is high. I'm tired of being sick. My voice still ain't together. I got a headache behind my eye. Like, damn. Yo, I think he'd be embarrassed about it when I call him out. Anyway, I'll holler.